Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy Ghostbusters 3 day. Ghostbusters Af Afterlife. Afterlife day. We've been calling it Ghostbusters 3 for so long. We finally got a teaser trailer. Yes. Teaser trailer um, for this movie. And we're going to talk about it and uh, give our, our initial thoughts on it. Um, what we think about it. And uh, I, I got to tell you, I'm I'm a little surprised. Are, are you? I'm a little surprised by how they they went about this trailer. I guess I expected I expected it to scream Ghostbusters from the rooftops. Well, it, it kind of does did, later. It does later, but it's kind of a bait and switch. It kind of starts out one way and goes another. Um, here's the cool thing, though. I mean, well, I think they're doing it for a reason. We'll talk about that afterwards. Yeah. Well, let's, you know, go and do this. I, I I'm, 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 I think it's gonna be cool. No, I think it's gonna be cool. I, it, it's, it's got the pedigree. Um, I think it's going to be cool. I'm actually super excited about this movie, and I, I'm with you. I, I I understand why they did it, um, and I think they also wanted to differentiate it from 2016. Yeah, which, <laughs> I don't blame them Which, on that. <laughs> like, was, yeah, it was a mess. It just, it doesn't feel very Ghostbusters at first. I mean, they're trying to go with the retro 80s to make you get like that with a vehicle and stuff, but it, it does, it's not until a little bit later that it feels more Ghostbusters. And, I'm like, and I know for you, the reason it doesn't feel very Ghostbusters is there's no New York. Yeah, New York is very much a character in the Ghostbusters movies. Uh, we don't see any New York in in the trailer. Doesn't mean there won't be, just not yeah. in this trailer. So we're gonna we're gonna kind of dive into it a little bit. This is gonna be our first uh, initial reaction. I know people are gonna tear this thing apart, uh, frame by frame. We're not gonna do that. No, this was we literally just watched it, and a uh, couple things popped out, and, and we're gonna talk about. So that. few things bring joy anymore. Why ruin it? <laughs> so <laughs> right? Why ruin it? So before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. If you have not subscribed already, we talk about pop culture uh, news. We give our, our views and opinions on things. Opinions. Uh, opinions. That's a, that's a word. Opinions. Views, that's a word. Anyway, let's that's go. That's a word. Okay, so Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer starts out being very un-Ghostbuster-y. But it does remind us of something else, which we'll talk about later. Well, yeah, and it... Absolutely. It clearly reminds you of something clearly else. reminds you of something else, which a lot of people are 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 uh, first thing I thought commenting on is it feels like, like Stranger Things. Like Stranger Things. It does. <laughs> Let's be honest, it does. Um but there's you know, they have they have Finn in here and then they also have uh, well Finn Wolfhard. Yeah. And they also have um you know, they're they're going for this vibe. It makes sense because they're trying to appeal to, you know, old fans from the '80s with this with this stuff. Yeah. And they're trying even the, the fashions they gave them, and they're trying to appeal to the, the new fans, the younger fans, which love Stranger Things. So it makes sense. Yeah, and remember talking about '80s nostalgia. Remember when kids could actually get in the back of a pickup truck? Mm -hmm. Without a seatbelt? They had to probably special permits for this. Remember when... <laughs> I'm serious. Remember when you They could, all were rear-facing. No, oh, I'm my sorry. God. Remember, Yeah, these these teenagers, they need to be in a rear-facing car seat. Remember when we used to some actually... Of, some of these Karens. Oh God, lay across the back seat of the car, yep. read a book or whatever. As your parents were driving, you didn't need a seatbelt. Yep, yep. Um, but I'm actually, you know, talking about member, I'm, I'm actually surprised that they don't bust out more member berries for this one. I think that's what surprised me about was it, it is a very kind of slow reintroduction to I think they're trying to make it familiar to old fans and new fans, new people that they're trying to bring in is what they're trying to do. But I also think there are there are those, but it's just you're not noticing them because I think there, there's a lot of throwbacks to like the toys or to like the the, the cartoons or to other things. It's not just yeah. the movie. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So, um, so the story is uh, they the money. Yeah, they don't have any money. The single mom. Now this could be New York. This actually could be. This looks like a New York apartment. So maybe it starts in New York. Maybe it starts in New York. There you go. Um, He's just so upset about New York. You don't I, understand. No, because okay. So <laughs> for me, Ghostbusters. You know, and I am I am on the East Coast, right? I, I was born and raised on the East Coast. I did go back and forth between California and the East Coast when I was a kid. But Ghostbusters for me was actually the movie that made me be want to be like, oh, I want to go to New York someday. I want to I want to see New York. Um, you New know, York, what a town! Yeah, in Ghostbusters, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. It it gets New York right. It gets New York right. At least New York of the 1980s. Mm -hmm. It gets it right, and it feels more New York than a lot of other movies. So for it not to have New York at all, which I don't think they're going to make that mistake. I mean, if they're really trying to get the tone of Ghostbusters mm -hmm. right, they got to do they got to do New York, and not actual New York, not like Vancouver pretending to be New York. There you go. Um, see, he's very upset about this. I am thing. upset about New York because I want to see Ghostbusters in New York. I don't want to see Ghostbusters in the middle of nowhere. So this is well, this doesn't. Well, yeah, this might. I don't know. This might be New York. Anyway, they're moving out. They can't afford it. They're going on a road trip. This is kind of Karate Kid style, right? 
and uh, they wind up at this spooky old farmhouse, which is, I think they said it was Oklahoma. I think they said it was Oklahoma. It's not in the middle of nowhere. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, it looks like the Adams Family House. <laughs> yeah, of. kind of. It's, it's like... I was thinking like Beetlejuice Adams Family. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it is, it is creepy. We got the dilapidated uh, stuff, and um, it's our grandfather's, which we'll talk about, which yeah. I think we're right. No, we know we're right. Anyway. We know we're right. But they don't give you any indication at first that this is actually a Ghostbusters movie, which is actually... <laughs> That His face. I can think of, I like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty clever though, because casuals who are watching this are gonna be like, "Oh, okay, what's? Oh, it's that kid from Stranger Things." Right. Ooh, and the it's spooky very, it's, looking. It feels very Stranger Things. And I guess I expected them to, when they did the trailer, to drop the Columbia logo and start playing the Ghostbusters music, and and that's kind of what I was expecting. But you're right; they're trying to get surprise people who don't know that there's another i don't think they want to give too much away either no they want to give you a like you know taste it but not give it too much away i think i mean i don't think it's done poorly and i think stranger things is doing it that way is a smart choice yeah so they're going with you know group of teens checking something out something in the then world. we what, get this what's in the well timmy yeah what's in the well brawn that must be a new um so somerville liquor store uh, is it Oklahoma? I think it's, I don't know. I don't know. But there's, there are earthquakes in this small town. They said that there's nothing, not even loud music to shake the ground. I guess they're having earthquakes every day. Yeah. And we're trying to figure out what the connection is. There's Hopper. No. <laughs> and this is their, their summer school teacher, Paul Rudd, who they don't show enough of, I don't think, in this trailer. But this is a trailer, my God! I know, but I'm just saying. This is obviously... A teaser. This is obviously a teaser. Yes. It's obviously a teaser. Calm down. It's the very I'm first not... one. And they only have two minutes. What? They can't show the whole movie. Yes, you can. Make <laughs> me happy. Make okay. me personally happy. I just want to point out one well, that's a very awkward. Uh, Looks like Renee Zellweger. There. It's a very awkward pose for the daughter. But um, the comment he makes under the table uh, that is very a uh, Squid King comment well, to make. Personality wise, uh, Finn Wolfhard actually reminds me of Squid King. <laughs> kind of. Uh, I think it's because they're the same the same generation. But this is like literally like the only joke in the whole. I think that was what kind of threw me too. It's a very serious trailer, but... I don't think that makes the movie serious. No, 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 no. I don't think the movie's going to be serious because they said they were going to get the tone right. But I think they're they're deliberately doing it this way to contrast with the over-the-top, jokey 2016 I agree. trailer. And you're trying to get the, like, across it's very serious. That there are serious moments. It's not one big joke. Yeah, there's things that are happening. And I, but I, I do think they went with the Stranger Things vibe because it's definitely a Stranger Things vibe in this trailer. Yeah. Um, one, because of Finn is in it. And two, because I think that um, they're, they're trying to appeal to both the, the people, everybody loves Stranger Things because if you grew up in the 80s and stuff, it's something that you can relate to. So it appeals to both the older fans and the younger fans who are all into Stranger Things and all that stuff now. I think it's a smart move. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, so um, we've got, you know, Mr. Okay, there we go. Traps. And the, and the teacher seems to be a Ghostbusters nerd. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Oh, that was fun. And uh, the girl finds the trap and he's like, oh, replica. And she's like, hell no, it's like the real thing. And then he has to explain. So this is where you start to get the, the vibe that it actually is, you know, almost halfway through that it's a Ghostbusters And movie. also it seems like, to counterpoint to to your New York argument, you get the idea that it wasn't just New York that had problems when that happened. Where you always thought it was New York, but he's like, we haven't seen anything here like for 30 years. Unless yeah. it was, because I mean, I'm assuming he was in New York to knew about it, but... I'm just saying the other thing. Yeah. yeah. In New York, so yeah. so I'm thinking, you know, it wasn't just there that there was problems, and you kind of get the idea that it was it was a global thing, not just a New York thing. Yeah. So this is where it gets. This is where your first indication that we're dealing with Ghostbusters, uh, right here. Of course, you know they they give us some classic. This is where it's like, oh my god. Yay! I could I could see people. That makes me happy. And they've got why. um really Vankman. Does. Yeah, they got Vankman uh, talking about fate, etc., which is pretty cool. The the only prop the only problem with doing it this way, I think, I mean, one, it's gonna be a, a bombshell for the audience. They're gonna be like, oh my god, it's another ghost. Because a lot of people don't know they're doing. How would they ghost. not know? Because the general audience isn't. They're not on so the you internet. See, when you're all the in the theater watching the movie and you're like, right. what is this thing? It's what like, is this? Is this a Stranger Things a movie? It's like, oh my god, it's Ghostbusters. Well, as soon know? as the Columbia thing comes across, they're gonna figure yeah. it out. Um. But it's also going to be like, people might be like getting up like, oh, this looks like a family drama. Let's go take a piss or get some popcorn. Uh, not at the and same time. A trailer? Yes. I would not recommend that because you'll miss things. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so they show the original Ghostbusters and then we go in and uh, let me see. 
She's looking. She's like, oh, look at that mold collection. And fungus. And fungus. Yeah, I think we're right. I think she we is. We know we're right. Absolutely Egon's granddaughter. They show that we're right. Because they say, well, there's a ghost trap. It's like, oh, it's look, real. Look, she's in the closet. I don't know if you yeah. want to pull it out. And it says, who are you? Or yep. something like that. And look. Uh, Spangler. Spangler. So, yes. This is where they need to crank up the Ghostbusters music, though. You know, damn it, damn it. No, they didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I no, I, I'm excited about this movie. But I'm also uh I Oh just, yeah, that's kind of important. This is very important. Um so this is Shandor Mining Company. Of course, Shandor is the guy who started the Gozer cult. Mm-hmm. So that's important to the trailer too. This is very important. Um so basically we're looking at potentially the return of Gozer. Now that would be awesome. What's interesting about this though is they dealt with the return of Shandor and Gozer in the video game which squid king and i are mm -hmm. playing through right now so are they just gonna erase because the video game was basically considered canon mm -hmm. for the longest time it was basically uh ghostbusters 3 is because it had harold ramus and dan Aykroyd writing it so i think we're dealing and that also took place in the 90s so that throws out the 30 year thing um i think we're dealing with potentially a a wiping wiping the slate clean and saying that we only had Ghostbusters 1 and 2. And that's it. And of course, this is the big reveal. Nope, nope. We got to show some lazy kids in class and get that product placement in there. Uh, oh, okay. See, yep. You didn't notice that the first time you saw it? N not the first time, no. Oh, I noticed it right off. Because that, that, that right there felt very strange with things to me as well. Yeah, so we're, we're dealing with probably the return of Gozer, I, I'm guessing. Um... Oh, there you go. There's a moment you like. This is it. This is where the the audience in the theater is gonna be like, oh my god, it's Ghostbusters. Well, they, they would have they would have figured out before that. I, oh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, this is interesting because you you pointed this out. You're like, wait, there's a gunner chair. Now they talked about this before. I say, wasn't that the cartoon? Uh, I don't I don't know if it was, the toy. I know it was the toy. It was on the toy. Yeah. The toy. I knew I knew. Yeah. I remembered it from somewhere. It wasn't in the movie, but yeah. I remembered it. Because they were talking about the the girl in set. They, they put a blanket over her head so you couldn't see her. I don't know, but uh, the toy actually had a gunner seat I knew I on saw top, it before. which is you know pretty cool. Um, but they got you know Ecto One fired up, and yeah, there we go. So I, I think, um, again, my thought on this is it it does and doesn't feel Ghostbusters, but I think it's intentional because they want to contrast with 2016, which tried really really hard to be like, look. They're the new Ghostbusters. Look at all the jokes. More jokes, more jokes, more ghosts. You know? I don't... <laughs> that was their tagline. More jokes, more jokes, more ghosts. That's all Ghostbusters 2016 um, was. Was like, they got the, the... It was all joke, joke, joke. I think it's more to do with the fact that they're, you know, they're trying to appeal to the older audience and try to, you know, reach the younger audience yeah. who are into Stranger Things and like It and all that stuff. They're trying yeah. to trying to appeal to both. And I think that's a smart move. Um, I think it's awfully early to tell, but it looks cool. It does look cool. I'm not saying it doesn't look cool. I'm just, I, I, I have to admit, I'm very surprised that this is how they didn't, they didn't beat the nostalgia drum as hard as I thought they were going to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, you wanted your nostalgia drum beaten? I, yeah, I want it smacked. In... I admit, when I first saw it too, I was a little bit like, huh, I expected more nostalgia too. But I don't think it, but it, but I, said, I, it said, I don't hate it. I like it. No, I'm it, just, it was different than I expected. Yeah, it's very different because normally when they do these kinds of trailers, like you look at how they marketed The Force Awakens and mm -hmm. you look at how, now it was kind of the same way too, but they made sure that the first thing they show you is like, uh, you know, a, a crash star destroyer. And, you know, you get the droids in there and you get, uh, you know, Luke Skywalker's voiceover, which I guess I kind of did this with, with, um, Bill Murray's, but, and then we get, you know, Han Solo at the end. I, I guess I expected them to try to win people back. Like, here's Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray. Here's, you know, here you go, guys. Here you go. Here's all the member berries you can eat. And they didn't do that. Well, I'm um, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust it. I'm, I'm, no, I think I, it's I'm gonna smart. choose to be happy because I am happy about like, it. I'm, <laughs> there's I'm just, not much we get happy about anymore. No. So, um, yeah, no, I, I think they just tried to take a different approach. I think we're going to see more as it cl gets closer too. When is it out again? Is it summer, right? Summer. I don't when know what the summer? actual. I don't know what the actual they date is yet. Uh, just says summer. summer. Okay. So I, I think we're going to see a more. Wonder Woman and Ghostbusters. I know. Oh my god. You know, I, I do trust the people behind the movie. I, think, I do too. I think uh, you know Jason Reitman is going to do right by this movie. I think Columbia Pictures, Sony knows they can't screw this up again. Like right. you get one do over. 
you get one do over. You cannot screw this up again. Yeah. Um, and I think that they want to show that this movie actually actually has a plot with characters you care about and it's not one big joke. I think that's what the point of this is. Like, look, this family, because that was the thing about Ghostbusters. Like, yeah, you know, we talked about before the original. Yeah, there were a lot of jokes, but that was, you know, there actually w were some pretty serious things going on right, and yeah. you cared about it, the characters. It was both. And, yes, it wasn't like everything was a joke. You know, even with Dan Aykroyd, like we talked about Dan Aykroyd the other way, like he actually takes the paranormal very seriously. Mm -hmm. And the original version of the movie was a lot more serious than than. But what it was still funny. And that this last one, was 2016, was just. I, it was just a, 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 joke. Everything was a joke. It was like a parody of Ghostbusters. It wasn't. Dance scene. Do we need to say anymore? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, so I, I mean. I think you're right though. I think they're like, oh look, it's it's the Stranger Things kid again. The only thing I feel bad for with Finn Wolfhard is this kid is I like cheese. <laughs> this kid is forever gonna be the '80s kid. He was in Stranger Things, uh, he was in It, and now he's in Ghostbusters. And but the thing is, is I think we have Stranger Things to thank mm -hmm. for this. Because I think I think what what happened was there was more interest in the original Ghostbusters because of um, them using Ghostbusters on Stranger right. Things, and then we saw it, you know, do really well with the '80s nostalgia. See, what the cynic in me is like, I mean, I will say this is like, I think what I'm worried about is that they all see like, oh, look how Stranger Things, like they're, they're, all these seasons are getting and how much money they're making. And oh my gosh, let's set this up and then let's do Ghost, Ghostbusters again and again and again and make it like Stranger Things. And that's the thing I'm worried about because I think you can push it too far too. And I'm, I'm afraid they're going to go that way. I think that's what they're going to try to do. <laughs> so I, I think that they, as well. But. Yeah. Um, well, because they said before, and this is, again, I'm with you with the cynical thing. They said before that they were talking about they wanted to set up a Ghostbusters uh, shared cinematic universe and that's what they tried to do with 2016 then they were going to have like a Ghostbusters East and West Coast and all this other stuff you can overdo it yeah I mean it works like Marvel because there's 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 the, the movies that they're together but there are a lot of single separate movies with different characters so you can do that for an MCU or DC uh, what is it how do they call it DCU DC, DCEU EU. yeah um, you can get away with it there but something like this I don't think you can get away with like east coast west coast you know space you know all that <laughs> you, you laugh but they would ghostbusters in space <laughs> I'm just like, we laugh. another thing i worry about i worry about that because I, I really would like another movie or two that are good but i don't want it to be like every year a new season of ghostbusters slash stranger things you know and that's what i worry they would coming do. soon to netflix coming soon to sony's streaming service ghostbusters the series that's you know, yeah, um, no, yeah, that, that's what they'll do. You know, they so, bring the cartoon back, and I wouldn't care too much about that. Yeah, but, and Extreme um, Ghostbusters does not get enough love. By so the way. there you go. Uh, but anyway, so the trailer's out. Go check it out. Um, Neon's gonna have to get over his upsetness about. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually not. I mean, you're taking as being upset. I'm more surprised. Uh, you know, <laughs> I love this in the back. You'd you'd appreciate this. Yeah, Look I do. All the symbols. I know. Right. I know the hazmat. I used to work with. I used to work with hazmat uh, symbols every day. So I actually um, kind of know what they mean. Anyway, um, no, I think I think it's going to be good. I really do. I got I got a good feeling about this. I am worried that it's going to go to Ghostbusters Junior. I think that might be, you know, um, what you're concerned about. Yeah, that's my biggest concern. Is I'm going to be like, okay, it's it's Ghostbusters Junior, and it's going to be all kids, the all kids Ghostbusters team. Well, Stranger Things is good. Yeah, but Stranger Things. I know. You know? I, I know. I'm trying to be positive here. I'm trying to be positive. Dang it. Because really, you're too negative. I'm trying to no, be positive. No, I'm not. I'm not being. I'm just. Look. It's, I just think it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. But one yeah. day shown, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. And I think. And the I, premise is cool. I think Jason Reitman, you know, he's he said time and time and time again that, you know, he wants to get the tone right. So I think what's missing from this trailer, hopefully we're going to see in the, the final Ghostbusters? movie. Ghostbusters? Yeah, it's going to be more Ghostbustery. Yes. Well, no, I mean the Ghostbusters. That's what's missing from this movie. The actual Ghostbusters. Right from the trailer. Other than that little, that little. But I do love how they, they did the, the tie back to to the, the Shandor mines and stuff. I like that. That's very clever. I don't know. I'm excited. Um, I want to see more. Yeah, um, that's that's where I'm at. I'm just hoping. Too, yeah. I'm just like, I, like I said with everything. Please don't suck. Please don't suck. Please don't suck. Because I want it to be so great, yeah. so bad. Like you just want everything to be negative. No, that's the problem. We don't want everything to be sucked. That's why we can play. Uh, yeah, the problem <laughs> is, is there have been so many, uh, you know, bait and switch tactics used, uh, cashing in on nostalgia for the sake of nostalgia with the fandom, and they're like, oh look, you like like this, right, guys? Oh, now we're gonna switch it all around. Look what they did with Star Wars, you mm -hmm. know. 
Um, hey, we're going to get you to the theater. Come see your hero, Luke Skywalker. And then we're going to freaking kill him. Or we're going to destroy him first. We're going to destroy his and character then we're gonna first. And then we're going to kill him. And then we're going to kill him. So, yeah, because you have to let the pest die. Kill it if you have to. All right, are we done with this? We're done. We're done. So go check it out if you haven't done so already. Yeah, we'll put a link in the um, description to the uh, the, the uh, official trailer. I'm sure there's a lot then, more hidden stuff in there. We're not yeah. going to you know tear the whole thing apart. But nope. there was a lot of cool things I thought. So, I mean, All I, right. I, yeah. All right, guys. Talk later. Bye. Thinking about printing your own comic books, graphic novel, or manga? We recommend our friends over at Print Ninja. We've been using Print Ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent. Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free! That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's PrintNinja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.